Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel. So today I feel like is a long awaited video, a video that I've been wanting to film for you guys, a video that you guys have been wanting me to film for you. And yeah, it is the review on the Talia Wajid apple, green apple, I should say, an aloe with coconut line. And in this line, there are three items. There is the shampoo, the, what is this? The leave-in conditioner and the curl definer. Now, let me first start off by saying the reason this video took so long to get up is A, you guys know, I've had a bunch going on and first and foremost thank you guys so much for your condolences and well wishes um in regards to uh, my last upload um you guys are super sweet i really appreciate it i'm actually doing so much better than i could have even expected unfortunately i've gone through this before um you know dealing with loss so um it's it taught me you know each time it doesn't get easier but you learn kind of how to deal with it best for yourself so that you can kind of protect yourself and heal you know what i mean so um anyways thank you guys you are so sweet i really appreciate all the well wishes so thank you thank you thank you so much um but i wanted to definitely mention that uh the other reason why this video has taken so long is because this is my second time filming it and i got through the entire video like had gotten down to the part where i'm like wrapping it up telling you guys how i feel about the products and i realized i completely misused one of the products and well i can't really say misused but i didn't use it till its full potential so um yeah let's go ahead and jump into that all right so first i started off using obviously the shampoo um what I immediately noticed about the shampoo is as soon as you apply it to your scalp, I always start out with shampoo like directly to my scalp, is it's not a sudsy lather where it's like a bunch of bubbles, but the lather is thick, 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 T-H-I-C-C, two C, like that's how you know, like not C-K, T-H-I-C-C, thick. It feels like I am shampooing my hair with like a deep conditioner. It is the oddest feeling in the world, but it lathers. It definitely lathers, but it is a thick, silky lather, not a large, sudsy lather. You know what I'm saying? So that was like, I haven't used a shampoo that felt quite like that like ever. And then also obviously the smell, y'all know how I am about smells. It makes me so thirsty. It smells like a, gosh, like a sour Starburst or like an Airhead or just like, oh my God, like I just wanna bite into a granny. <gasps> I have some granny smith apples downstairs. Anyways, I, why am I holding this like this? What is, I do the oddest thing sometimes, y'all. Um, No, but it's just, oh my gosh, it, smells so delicious and fruity and not like artificially fruity either like i mean kind of artificial but kind of also like i just want to pick an apple off the tree like if if the two shall meet los dos in the middle both of them that is where this is okay okay but anyway it says using fingers to separate hair wet scalp first then wet hair thoroughly apply the shampoo to the scalp massage scalp and work lather into hair rinse repeats so obviously i did that i did it about two times the first thing i noticed is my scalp was my scalp felt clean definitely not stripped but my hair normally after i like go through and shampoo my hair because i'm really kind of you know getting oil up in there my uh, roots are a bit puffier like before i condition but that wasn't the case with this at all it almost felt like they were like moisturized like they were very like flat to my head and it felt as though like the curls were somewhat kind of clumped in like the root area like well I really concentrated the shampoo so I was super pleased about that like I said the shampoo I haven't experienced something quite like it before so I was super blown away very excited why do I keep saying super I absolutely loved this um it says it provides total nutrition for stronger hair, complete with vitamins A, B, C, E, and K, minerals, calcium, iron, magnesium, copper, phosphorus, potassium, procyadine, hmm, Pro 
procyandine. Procyandine? Malic acid? Never heard of that before. Fiber and protein. So, um, yeah, whole slew of apparently all things that are good and great. Um, but yeah, so I absolutely love this. Um, it says the green apple nutrients strengthen and balance pH level for optimum hair and scalp health. The aloe nutrients repair hair and scalp and the coconut nutrients moisturize and softens hair. And it says this just prepares the hair for conditioning and makes it um, easier as far as like manageability and you know all of that so as far as me thinking that if the product delivers what it says I actually kind of think it under promises and over delivers which is always great because based on the description when I was like reading it before I used it I wasn't really expecting that much I was just expecting it to be a shampoo as a shampoo it's, oh my gosh I just realized it has hydrolyzed silk protein in it shut up um but anyways a shampoo is a shampoo is a shampoo that is how I was feeling so I'm kind of I think they sold themselves short on that I don't know if that was intentionally or unintentionally but I was blown away by the shampoo I definitely didn't think I would like it as much as I did as you guys know I'm not really big on shampoo I'm more of a deep conditioner type of girl a hair mask type of girl a treatment type of girl so I wasn't totally intrigued by this initially but she came through she came through so yes now everything in the video tutorial the last time I filmed it was going fine until like I said I had you know done all the demo parts and all of that and I got to this bad boy right here and I realized that so I had just used this I was like why don't they have a deep conditioner or a conditioner in this line and I talked about that in the video and then I'm reading it and I'm <laughs> And I'm sitting here and I'm like, can be used at least three times a day, blah, 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 blah. And it says, after shampooing, thoroughly spray onto wet hair from roots to ends of hair, cover with plastic cap for 20 minutes, lightly rinse. I was like, what? Excuse me? Like, what? And then it says that you can also leave it in. So I was like, wait, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me that this is a leave-in, a traditional conditioner, and also a deep conditioner all in one? Like, excuse me? Excuse me? Perdón? Like, what? Okay. So anyways, I, like I said, I got through the whole video and I was like, okay, I've made a wrong turn somewhere. So I was like, I'm going to cancel this because everything I've said up to this point was depending on the fact that I just use that as only a leave-in. So I went back. So after I rinsed the shampoo out, I applied the leave-in conditioner. I set up under the heating cap for 20 minutes and I didn't rinse out because I'm using this as my traditional conditioner. I'm using this as my deep conditioner and I also want to use this as my leave-in. So I set up under the heating cap and I didn't rinse it out whatsoever. And I just went on to um, styling. Well, actually, I think that night I ended up falling asleep with like my hair in like two plaits because um, I knew I was going to go in with the styler. But the next day, my hair felt so moisturized. And once I actually, um, and I'm going to show you guys a clip, once I got from up under the heating cap, my hair felt just as it would as if I had deep conditioned my hair and then rinsed the deep conditioner out, especially on my curly hair because as I mentioned before, I like super thick conditioners almost that kind of like a little bit kind of lingers behind after you rinse it out just so it kind of keeps the strands coated and that's exactly how I felt with that. So I was extremely surprised because when I was applying it, like I said, this isn't viscous at all. Um, I'm, I, I broke the cap. I don't know how. I don't even know why. I'm not mad. I mean, I am, but, I'm not, but I, I am. Um, I broke the cap. So yeah, but like I said, this isn't thick like at all as you can see. So I was expecting it to do nothing for my hair, like nothing, nada. So I I was looking at this like, excuse me, did you really? Like did you really? Um, but anyways, like I said, so then the next day I just went on with styling as usual. Um, I used this curl definer and the first time I used it, I used it with Eco Styler Gel. Do not do that. It causes flaking. But the second time I used it, I used it by itself. And I'm going to show you guys a clip of what my hair looks like when I just use this because a lot of people ask me, um, they're like, oh, how do you get your edges so slick? And I really don't use gel that often. Like... It kind of depends like if it's day one hair or something like that like I will 
um, slick my edges back with Eco Solar Gel, but I don't even do that all the time. I mean, like I kind of do, but I kind of don't, but it's not the end all be all. I prefer not to because I feel like too much gel and I won't have any edges. And I already have like cowlicks, like that's just how my hairline is made, so I don't need any assistance with thinning edges. Ooh, girl. Um, but this stuff right here, this probably has to be my absolute favorite thing from the line. This is so ridiculously thick, like it feels almost like a mask or a deep conditioner. This stuff, like it had my edges snatched back. It needed no assistance with hold whatsoever. You guys know it is humid AF right now and I am in Georgia and I was able to get two and a half, three solid days of like cute hair. Um, this is the same hair now. This is day five. This is day four, I'm sorry. I had to put it up in a bun just because it's so human. And to be honest, I didn't even expect it to last one day in this humidity. So the fact that it did wasn't aided at all by any holding product, I was extremely surprised. But anyways, this says can be used on wet or dry hair. For wet hair, towel dry, separate into sections, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, apply, you can finger comb it through. It says be sure to obviously distribute it over all your strands. It says for dry hair, same instructions as wet hair, just omit towel. And I actually think this will be bomb for a wash and go. As you guys saw, I obviously did a twist out, but when I took those twists out, my hair was so juicy looking. Like so, the curls were juicy yet fluffy at the same time. And I feel like the combination of those two is, I mean, isn't that what we're all looking for in life? Right? That's what I am. Um, so this definitely reminded me of their Curly Curl Cream, which I rave about. Um, as you guys know, I'm not new to using Talia Wajid, but um, I am new to this line. Obviously, it is a newer line, but I've used two of their products before. Well, the first product I used was the Curly Curl Cream. The other product was like the Foam Wrap Lotion. I wasn't really a fan of the Foam Wrap Lotion. It didn't have enough hold for me, but that Curly Curl Cream, oh my gosh. When I say it's like the perfect mix of a gel and a cream together. Like I've never seen a product like that before in my life. This comes close to it, it's still not that. But if the Curly Curl Cream is a bit too aggressive with you as far as hold, I think you will absolutely love this. Curly Curl Cream is still bang, but she cute. She's cute cute actually, actually. Um, so yeah, and this also has that apple smell. Oh, so freaking good. Um, but anyway, it says this is for more defined curls and it's fortified with vitamins and minerals. Um, I definitely felt like my hair had definition even when I initially was putting the product into my hair. Like I could see that my hair, even like if it was just a wash and go, my curls were clumped, but not too clumped. They were, you know, nice, springy. They had enough weight for them. So when they dried up and the shrinkage kind of took place, the definition would still be there. So I was here for it. Um, so yeah, I think I've rambled enough about this, but um, overall, I actually loved every single item from that. Wait. Every single item from the line, which I was not expecting at all, I really was only interested in trying the curl definer. So I was super surprised that I loved the shampoo and the conditioner so much. Um, I, like I said, I, to be honest, all three of these were unlike other products that I had used before and so that it made wash day so smooth like imagine just just imagine this process you get in the shower you shampoo your hair you rinse it out you apply this conditioner which is like a three-in-one it's a traditional conditioner right uh, deep conditioner leave-in conditioner so you apply this to your hair you get out the shower or you can stay in and steam whatever but I then get out the shower I deep condition my hair up under a plastic cap I take the plastic cap off instead of having to get back in the shower which is what I would have normally had to do with any other deep conditioner I go right into my styling product and then I'm done what like what so yeah I am so here for this line I would definitely purchase this line um Talia Wajit sent this to me to try out which I was so excited for um I do have their other line that I still want to try it's like the bamboo one or something like that but um anyway so I'm completely here for all three of those items if you have to pick up anything as far as my favorite I would say this is my favorite as far as ease of use and just streamlining wash day this three-in-one is 
I'm here for it and I didn't expect to like it at all because anything that says deep conditioner looks like this I'm like girl don't play with me don't even disrespect me like that um so yeah if you've tried it let me know what you guys think below let me know if it worked for your hair um so yeah I hope this was informational for you guys I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you uh, next time bye Bye.